Squarespace website templates, how to find, customize and optimize. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video we are going to discover how to deal with templates on Squarespace. So here we are on the homepage squarespace.com and if we'll click on get started, we'll go to our dashboard page where we can deal with a lot of different templates. So basically our dashboard looks like this, so I'm going to open it. And from this page, we can simply click on create a website to come to the templates area where we can find tons of different templates we can easily interact with. So basically, firstly, we can divide them into different, you know, categories from type like online store, portfolio, memberships, blog, scheduling or one page. But sometimes it's even easier to create a portfolio website from blog like a template so maybe it will be not necessary as for you to divide them for example only for portfolio categories because sometimes it's easier to find something from other categories and after that to customize it the first trick is about this uh, the second step we can divide them into different categories for example like art or design photography health and beauty personal and cv fashion professional local business and so on but once more Sometimes it's easier to create our like website about food if you are going to use maybe health and beauty website because we are going to change all the photos, we can change the design and the most important part as for me is a structure. So for example, these like clothes uh, store can be easily customized into, for example, food store or maybe some other stuff. So uh, honestly, I suggest you to use like popular design option or all templates. And from this page, you can easily try to find something which is suitable as for you. And after that, you can easily customize it according to your interesting and interest and your team. So uh, you need to understand that every single part will be like customized, changed, and the, for example, all the images or and all the text will be replaced by you, so you can easily input what would you like to uh, do, basically. So, for example, this like uh, template, what's this about? I don't know, maybe game review or something like this, maybe game blog, but maybe we're going to change it into maybe store or food uh, blog or something like this. So sometimes it's easier to find it uh, from these uh, templates here. So let's use this template. We can just simply click on preview. And after that, we'll click on start with this design. As you can see, it's responsive to different types of designs. And as for me, it's pretty cool. So let's click on start with this design. And in a few seconds, uh, we'll come to our editing page. Uh, from this page, firstly, we need to set up the name. Let it be like site one to three. And I'm going to click on continue, next, next, and get started. So from this page, it's pretty easy to manage all this stuff. We can uh, change the page settings, change the navigation in the like header of the website. Uh, we can easily change the design. For example, if we need to change the font uh, like pack, we can just simply go to design, then open site styles, and then just simply change the fonts and go to font pack switch. So easily, as you can see, we can easily change all the like you know uh, fonts here. So it's not necessary to change them for every single element. We can just simply change the all like fonts here. And as for me, it's pretty cool. The same way we can change the let's click on save. The same way we can easily change the color palette. We can just simply click on side styles here. Go to colors and click on edit palette and we can easily change the wall color palette as for our interest and as for me it's pretty cool so this template will be totally customized if we'll change some fonts and maybe color palette let's click on save once more and then go to colors um, side styles and also we can change the animation spacing buttons and image block and this is a way of how can we interact with all the features in like groups, not just simply clicking on every single part. And as for me, it's pretty cool. Let's click on save. And we are going to click on exit because from the home page here, we can also uh, deal with e-commerce area where we can manage some like products and so on to set up our store basically. So let's click on close. 
Uh, we can also go to marketing to find some CEO options where we can optimize. As you can see, we can optimize every single page here. So we can change the CEO title format, change the CEO site description and so on. So it helps the like search engines to understand what our template is about. And of course, uh, we can easily change the location management and so on. So also pretty helpful. And if we are going to analyze our data, we just simply need to go to analytics. And from this page, we can find all the information about our sales, traffic and geography. So as for me, it's pretty cool. And in order to customize, all we need is just to open our editor. So let's click on edit right up here. And here we are from this page, we can easily add different sections here. So we can, for example, add the about section. We can move it like to I may move it down to make it like under this section. We can add different blocks with text, button, form, newsletter, shape, line, map, markdown, code, embedded, quote, and so on. There are a lot of stuff we can easily use. Some of them are free mostly and some of them only for premium like menu, donation, open table and so on. We can customize every single element. We can change these like title to helper man tutorials. Let it be like this. So sometimes it could be really cool. And in this case, we can interact with every single part with this image. For example, we can just simply click on edit. We can replace it from some stock images or some other stuff. So let's try to find something cool. Maybe these here, let's click on add. And in a few seconds, these like image will be successfully changed. We can change the design, we can change the content and so on. So we can replace it, we can increase the size and all the features are available to customize with Squarespace. As for me, it's pretty, pretty cool. And when everything is done, we can just simply click on save in the left top corner and then just click on exit and our page will be successfully published to the like you know, the World Wide Web. If we'll try to discover their paid plans, we can find that there is like two uh, basic plans with personal and business and two plans for e-commerce. So we can easily start for free. And after that, we can decide which plan is suitable as for us. So we can find all the differences in this like table. And as for me, it's pretty cool that we can start for free and after that generally buy the paid plan. So the difference is not that big. So only it's like $7, $60 for personal and 23 for businesses. So you can decide which one is more suitable as for you. So this is a way of how can we deal with Squarespace with templates. I hope guys this video helped you out. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. Basically, that's all for this video. Uh, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.